What good are these if you are looking at your phone? Hello and welcome to a busy castle bar, Mayo's county town and one of the fastest growing towns in the country. Our science class here in St. Joseph's Secondary School are examining the question, how can science and technology make managing transportation safer? Our video focuses on the vulnerable road user, the pedestrian. Our aim is to identify where pedestrian safety needs to be prioritised in relation to advances in technology. It is our firm belief that safety needs to put people before cars. Well over 2 million people are tragically killed each year around the world. In 2015 alone, a total of 166 road deaths occurred on Irish roads, with the highest number of pedestrian deaths occurring in Mayo, followed by Dublin. While advances in safety systems and technology over the past decades have greatly improved driver and passenger safety, there has been relatively little new technology to ensure safety of pedestrians. This heavy goods vehicle is ADR certified and is constantly monitored through ORCOM, which maximises fuel efficiency and ensures the lowest possible carbon footprint. This experiment, in which a pedestrian walks around all sides of the truck, clearly demonstrates that there is a blind zone at the front of the vehicle, where the driver cannot see her in his mirrors. A new word in the English language is smombie, a smartphone zombie, German Youth Word of the Year 2015. Are you a smombie? Most young people use their smartphones some while walking down the street and are totally oblivious to the goings on around them. We are suggesting the introduction of flashing lights embedded on either side of a pedestrian crossing. These lights will attract the attention of pedestrians and drivers and alert the pedestrian that they are stepping off of the footpath. Even, even stepping onto a pedestrian crossing is no guarantee the driver will stop. In addition, the majority of pedestrian crossings in Castlebar are not striped, so flashing lights would further enhance the safety at these crossings. Our intention would be that vehicles traveling towards the crossing would trigger sensors located at 30 meters either side of a pedestrian crossing. This model is a prototype of our solution. Current innovations to improve pedestrian safety are still designed from a car-centric perspective. The car industry is slowly taking on the challenge of new sensors targeted at pedestrian safety. We are still relying too much on driver behaviour. Safety systems that concentrate on people around the car will become even more important as we move closer to a future with autonomous vehicles. But what are the alternatives in the meantime? Our model targets an ever-expanding void that exists now. There is still a growing interest in finding solutions to pedestrian safety. We have identified a solution that will bring a direct benefit to pedestrians one of the most vulnerable road users.